Today I'm going to show you what I think is a really cool maths trick and then I'm actually going to explain how it works using algebra. Now I realise this is uh, this video is completely different to what you expect from my channel but hopefully some of you will be interested in maths and perhaps study maths at college or university so I'm going to see how this goes. So first uh, I'll obviously show you this trick um, I know most of you will be bored once I've explained th the trick itself. So we'll start with that. So if you had two numbers, I'm going to use 85 and 98, and you wanted to multiply them together. With our calculator, that p could be quite an awkward thing to work out. But if we did 100 minus 85, Nice easy subtraction, we get 15. If we then do 100 minus 98, even easier, we get 2. So if we take the 85, or rather that one, and the 2, we get, well, if we subtract them, 85 subtract 2, we get 83. And just to demonstrate if I also did 98 subtract 15 we also get 83 so you only need to do one of those so what I'm going to do is write equals and then 83 now obviously 83 is not the answer but if we take these two numbers here and multiply them together nice simple multiplication we get 30 and if I write that on the end of the 83, believe it or not, that is the answer to 85 times 98. Now this is, I, I call it a trick, but this is a, an actual method which works for multiplying numbers like these. Now obviously I've used 100, if you went, if you used a number over 100, you're going to have to change the trick slightly. But when I first saw this, it left me wondering how that could possibly work. Now, algebra can kind of explain it. It doesn't fully explain how you can do the se steps separately, but it does explain how the trick manages to get the right answer. So I used 85 and 98. They were just two possible numbers. I, I could have used 82, 91, 70, and you, you get the idea. I could have used quite a lot of different numbers. So I'm going to replace those with x and y. So first I did 100 minus 85. So if I just like draw a line there to separate these. So in, with algebra that would become 100 minus x. Then I did 100 minus 98. So that would become 100 minus y. Then I did the 85 or I should point to the first one, 85 subtract 2, which was the, the second subtraction I did. So that becomes x subtract 100 minus y. And that gets us the 83. So if, if we just take a look at the two numbers we got, we got 83 and 30. Now we didn't just add those numbers together, we wrote one then wrote the other. So the actual relationship between the two numbers is we actually multiplied this by 100 so we got 83 times 100 to get 8300 and then we added 30 so we we'll multiply this the 83 by 100 then add the 30 so this here represents the 83 so we would multiply this by 100 So that, that's the first part of the sum. Right, the next part was to get the 30. Now we got that by doing 15 times 2, which was just the two the results of the two subtractions multiplied together. So with algebra, it's going to be 100 minus x multiplied by 100 minus y. Now if we expand this, we get a 100 times 100, which is... 10,000. 100 times minus y would be minus 100y. 
minus x times 100 would be minus 100x. Minus x times minus y gets us plus xy on the end. So what we did was basically the, the 8,300 plus the 30, which is this plus this. So if we write it all out, we get 100 times x minus 100 minus y plus 10,000 minus 100y minus 100x plus xy. So this is essentially the answer to x multiplied by y. So if we just focus on, on this particular bracket here for a moment. We can get rid of the brackets there since it's all just subtraction and basically replace it with x minus 100 plus y. And we can then just rearrange that to get minus 100 plus x plus y. Now, just realize I haven't actually done anything to this, I've just written it in a different order. Now, I'm just going to put brackets around the x and y there. Um, you'll see why in just a moment. So, if we write the rest of the equation back around this section, we're multiplying that by 100 and then adding it to the second part of the trick. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to focus on this section just here. We can factorise this, we can take the minus 100 out and then just have in brackets x plus y. So then, again, write everything else around it. And this section I'm going to kind of expand the brackets here, multiply 100 by minus 100, then multiply 100 by these brackets here. So we get 100 times minus 100 would be minus 10,000. 100 times x plus y will get us plus 100 x plus y, simple as that, plus 10,000 minus 100 x plus y plus x y. Now you may have guessed minus 10,000 plus 10,000 cancel each other out. Similarly with uh, plus 100 x times y um, plus y even and minus 100 times x plus y they cancel each other out and you'll see we're just left with x y which is of course x multiplied by y. So essentially all we did was say that x times y equals x times y. So that is how the trick works. We can take this one step further. So that You've noticed we've replaced the the 85 in my example with x, the 98 with y, but we're still left with 100. Is the 100 really relevant in this sum? Well, it's actually not. So if we say we've got x times y, we want to work out. If we replace 100 with n, well, first we did 100 minus 85, so this time it's going to be n minus x and then 100 minus 98 would become n minus y. Let's go back to the original one. We've just done that and then that, the two subtractions, to get 15 times 2. So next thing, we're going to take the first number and subtract the second subtraction from it. So we get x subtract n minus y, first number, second subtraction. And that gets us the 83. Now we've multiplied that by 100, um, so in this case we're multiplying it by n. So we get n multiplied by x minus n minus y. So if we were to expand all of this, first just get rid of these brackets in the middle, we get x minus n plus y all multiplied by n. And that, that would get us nx minus n squared plus n y and we can fact re rearrange this and factorize it to get minus n squared plus n times x plus y apologize <laughs> that mistake so that's the the 8300 bit the next bit was the 30 and we simply multiplied the results of the two subtractions together 
So here we're just going to do n minus x times n minus y. And again, if we expand this, we get n squared, and then n times minus y would be minus ny. Minus x times n would be minus nx, and minus x times minus y would be plus xy. And we can factorize this, n squared minus nx plus y plus xy. And then we just did that <laughs> plus that to get minus n squared plus n x plus y plus n squared minus n x plus y plus x y and once again the n squareds cancel each other out they cancel out and we're just left with x y and if we go back to the beginning that was supposed to be m multiply x times y equals x y